Okay, now we can start. Uh, we're playing one shot. I don't remember exactly super well where we left off. Uh, Wait, can you not show your butt to the camera? No, I can not. Uh, I don't remember where we left off, but Nico is immediately calling us out by name. So hopefully he'll help us remember. He'll be like, it's been a little while. Um, you need a refresher or something? If not, I'm probably gonna bumble around for a little bit until I figure out what we were doing. Uh, did I yell everywhere? I'm gonna double check I yelled everywhere. Yes, I know my, uh, text on the bottom of the screen is perfect. I was working on it and then ran out of time. I also made a cake. Seems lovely. Let me make sure. I posted... Oh, nothing's loading, of course. Okay, we're just gonna assume that everything loaded. Uh, yeah, there. And there. And here. And I already yelled at Twitter. And I yelled here. And I said things here. And I yelled at my own Discord, which is the most important one. Yes, okay, we've said everything everywhere. So, uh, sorry, I'm gonna stall around for a little bit uh, while our internet stops bursting in flames, maybe? Uh,. I made cake tonight. Uh, I... So, it's election day for me. Uh, for you, the viewer, if you're not watching this live, it could be any number of arbitrarily large distances of time from here. But, uh, to me, it is election day. And so, as such, I made myself a little election day cake. I felt like making, uh... You know, it, it's a tradition in some parts of the country to make an election day cake. And I was like, I want to lean in on that. I'm always a sucker for a good excuse for some cake. And so I did. I made some election day cake. I have frosting in my hair because I, uh, I had frosted the cake and it was very sticky and then something, uh, hassled my head and I went, ooh, and I got frosting in my hair. But, uh, I made cake. Kind of like a soda can cake, you know what that is? Uh, you know, it's it it's the same operating principle as a uh, as a buttermilk chocolate cake. You know, you put an acid into the liquids, and then you put baking soda into the dries, and it as it upward it provides the cake lift. Well, I cheated and used baking powder because I wasn't sure if the carbonic acid in the uh, in the LaCroix was going to be enough because uh, I modified the recipe heavily. Uh, really what I should have done was done it with baking soda this time because I did it in my little six inch cake pan which is back there in the mess that is my kitchen. I promise all those dishes sitting there are clean dishes. I promise you. Those are clean dishes. I should have put them away. In fact, no, I'm not going to put them away on screen. That would be silly. I'm going to be very tempted to, though. I'm kind of tempted to switch to the starting soon screen. You know what? We're just going to... We're just going to real quick here... Starting soon... I'm going to put these dishes away so they don't...
Okay. Now we should be good. Hang on. Let me make sure nothing explodes. That's the wrong layout. Okay, is nothing on fire? Good. So, first off, cat cam. Cat cam this evening. I knew the boys were going to want to sit with me, so I tagged a cat cam. Excuse me, sir, can I sit there? Sir, 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 are you aware I was sitting in this chair before you, sir? Sir? Sir, I'm gonna need you to move. Sir? Sir, you don't have a park- Sir, there's no need to enact violence upon the press, sir. Sir, you don't have a parking permit, sir? <laughs> okay. Oh, I know, I'm so mean to you. Um, so don't worry about Magnus. He's got his little shirt on because he picked his little shoulders bare. I had to go get him an actual shirt because he is too smart for his own darn good and decided that it was a great idea to learn how to get out of the little harness I had put him in. So now he's in a little Christmas shirt. Thankfully he was not on camera before it was allowed to have Christmas things because I was really missed. I was like, I'm going to get him a cute little Halloween shirt. And then I left and I got it. I got him a Christmas shirt because they didn't have Halloween shirt. And, you know, anyway, uh, hopefully I'm intelligible from this bar. Hopefully I can read the text on screen. It's a little small, but we need to keep it a little small just in case. Okay, so last we left off, I don't remember what we were doing. Uh, what's up, Nico? Are you sure? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. It's been a little longer than a second, buddy. Oh, good. Okay. I don't know what that was. We'll find out. Okay, so we... What were we doing? We had the shrimpies. I don't remember the controls. I'm not sleepy anymore. Good. Okay, so shift is run. We had the little shrimpies. We needed to do something with the shrimpies. And we got... Um... We got the gas mask so we can get the shrimpies. What was, what was the shrimpies for? Were the shrimpies for the little boatman? I walked up to the bar. Less of a problem now that we have the gas mask, but still inconvenient. What were the shrimpies for? I don't remember what the shrimpies were for. Magnus is gonna. is 100% going to annoy these little towels I have up for no expression. The shrimpies for the boatman? Or are we just gonna talk to the boatman and call it good? Hi, I'd like to talk. I need something I can use to wash the robot with. Okay. What was my input? Oh. Hang in there. Uh. I don't remember my buttons. What's the inventory? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh. Notes. Oh, no, not travel. Um, we need our inventory. Is it I for inventory? I'm gonna try a bunch of keys here and none of them are gonna work. Wait, 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 wait we, have the, we have the inventory there for a second. Ah, here we go. Uh, bottle of acid. How do we equip it? No, that's the wrong menu. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I want to use the acid on the robot. I hate not knowing the buttons. Hang on. Uh, settings will tell us the buttons. No, it won't. Figure controls. Uh, action is Z for space. Um, menu is A. Oh, it's Z, X, A. 
so it's Q and W or L and R. Uh, items is S. Menu is A. Cancel is X. Deactivate is C. I see. Wait. So action is C. Okay. All right. I think I remember my buttons. So it's arrow keys move around, right? So items. Bottle of acid. Items. I want to use the acid on the guy. So we equip the acid and then we talk to the guy. Yeah, I have the. Well, no. no. Uh, yeah, hang in there. A journal. What if the acid journal? I can't combine those. Obviously, the crowbar is not what we need. Maybe the answer is up in the gas? We haven't been there. I completely forgotten where we left off. I'm very sorry. I should have uh, perhaps looked at the VOD before we left. Uh, before we started, I should say. But I was busy making cake. See, there's the bubble. We have the little bubble. We have a little bottle of acid. I feel like we just need to use the acid on the robot. The sky is dark, and it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Hang on, I'm gonna look this up super quickly. Just, I need something to clean the robot with. Just to get an idea of where we are here. Again, I should have done it before stream, but I was making a cake. Good day. I 
remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched into the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Bear Ocean. What is all that water? This looks kind of factory, like there's a little smokestacks. There's something weird about the robots who get to send word near the gas get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with the gas harvesting look practically new. Is that the result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? Probably the ammo, let's be real. They're exposed to less oxygen. Means less rust. That's my guess. I'm not a chemist. What's in here? Oh, hello. Are you okay? Hi, can I talk to you? Or are you just walking in a circle? Hi, let me talk to you. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Okay. Oh, what's this? A pair of gloves. They're a bit heavy. Well, those will come in handy. It seems to be a page ripped out of a book. You cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here's a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural props property of blue phosphor. Acidic gas blue phosphor, rare form. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas from the container of choice and seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Wait, we already did that! We already fed the... The robot assembly hid repair the, uh, the old robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. So we already did that, without even knowing that we were supposed to. Wait, 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 wait. These are loose boards, right? Hear me out. What if crowbar? Good thing I kept this crowbar. So then we pry the boards off the door and pick up boards. Oh, we can go through the door and see a bunch of asleep robots. A bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. Okay. Another page. It seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction and use as soon as possible. If elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than most common household cleaners. I don't know what that these words mean. It's a good thing you're here. It is a good thing I'm here. Now that we have rubber gloves, cleaning sponge. We can clean the robot now. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Yeah. Now we can go clean the boat guy! Because we accidentally made the industrial strength cleaner before we were supposed to! Yeah! Can I just fast travel? I should just fast travel to the docks so we don't spend 30 minutes of me walking around. I'm gonna do that. Go to the docks. And then we'll just go say hi to Mr. Bo Mr. Boatman down here. Hello. I now have... Now I have... I can open my inventory and combine a bottle of acid with the sponge. Yes. Pour the acid onto the sponge. Good thing I have those gloves. It's true. It is a good thing. I hope this works. Wet sponge on robots. Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. Let me just give them a little, little scrub down. Yeah! There, how's that? Da, 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 da. I can move again. Thank you. Thank you. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Oh, I'm happy to help. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen, port number. 
built in in navigation circuits have been fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Alright, let's go talk to Silver again then. Uh, fast travel. Talk to, uh, lookout, maybe? Lookout point, is this right? It is! Hi. Excuse me again, miss. Uh, I found a robot who can take me toward the tower, but it's having some trouble. So I told me to talk to you. Alright. What's the issue? Is it something about a navigation circuit being fried? Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Uh, pretty sure I fixed everything else, I think. And it's something that might help. Robot. Robots? Uh, with, a, with a W, by the way. Have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. <gasps> Necklace! That looks important. Are you sure you want to give it to me? That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? Black clover? It's a common plant in our world. It's also... Well, I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. Please, no! I don't want to take your necklace if it's important to you! My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Well, never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need to keep saying, Oh, I don't want to take your necklace! No! Thank you. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Uh, actually, you know how to play chess? Yeah! Well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Don't worry, Nico. I know how to play chess. And will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well. I do! But I guess it's the least I could do. Yeah! Do we get to play chess? Oh! Oh, it's a cut. It's just a cutscene. I was like, I was so excited. Like, ooh, I get to play chess. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built in, into my code. Uh oh. So, what's it like being a robot and everything? I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tame. Tame? Watch out. That's my vision. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? That's my vision. Something just fell behind my head. Magnus is also here. Oh. I know what it, I know what happened. He jostled the fly swatter into falling out of the cabin. Another vision. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Thank you for your input, Magnus. Excuse me, sir. Are you aware you're not, in fact, allowed into the kitchen? Oh, you just want to look out, want to look out the window? Go ahead. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh! Oh, you're getting dunked on. It's a night. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun's gone? No. But I said this already, didn't I? Sun probably will all the same. The decaying started back before the sun went out of control. The sun's sudden death just was the tipping point. Things went south really fast after that. Oh. And there's nothing I can do? 
supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Baron was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee things will work out. Also, I'm sorry I'm voicing Silver probably very differently than last week. Just, I noticed that my Nico voice and my Silver voice are very similar, so Silver gets this voice. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But... I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I'll be good home safe. No, oh, thank you also. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I guess off we go. Travel menu. Oh, I cannot pass travel on the doors. Bye, Silver. I'm sorry I'm taking your necklace. Docks, so I don't get lost. Genuinely, I would walk there because this is a very pretty little world we're in, but I don't want to get lost. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the mine entrance. I would have given you the coordinates, but. Oh, it's a hand. Uh, items. Amber. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, this is Amber from the Glen. It can, I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Uh oh. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and those gloves. No! My hard-earned items, what am I gonna do? That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Oh. I love these little, like, CGs, almost. They're very pretty. Look at me go! Oh, they love the little, they love the little shrimpies. Oh, this is such a cute game. Unbearably cute. Oh! There is your here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Uh, are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tame. That's, that's gonna be very important. I feel like that's something we're going to learn about. This concept of, like, becoming tamed. And I, I have a sneaking suspicion that these people are describing, like, things that are tamed in the same way that, like, the Velveteen Rabbit is loved. That is my immediate impression here. Because it's like, oh, well, Silver can sort of think outside the box but they're not fully t she's not fully tamed or uh that the the robo the robot uh couldn't leave its station or you know do anything outside of its intended function because it's not tamed like over time they accumulate some kind of ability to produce thoughts maybe it's just through like you know the world affecting them in some way, shape, or form. We'll see. I... On one hand, I hope I'm right, because that's a very, like, satisfying thing to have in a game. But also, I really hope I'm wrong, because if I called it this early, I'm gonna be like, oh, man. Anyway... I got up to get water, and I got distracted by the concept of my phone not having very much battery. So you'll have to excuse me there. Okay. Water. Ah, I promise.
promised you all cake talk. I did, in fact, make cake. Oh. Is that an aquarium? Nico, can you look at this for me, buddy? No? Okay. Hmm. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. What's in this house, Nico? Uh, I promised you all cake talk. Oh! Pretty. I love the little, like, firefly looking particles. Oh! Oh! Pretty! Um. Sorry, I, I am occasionally just gonna be like, oh! About this game. Because it, it, it has a very uh, cohesive art direction, and I'm very enthused about it. Oh, that's how I get down here. Well, we'll come back. There was some stuff on the other screen I didn't look at first. Uh, so cake. So I took these, uh, I took this recipe, uh, for a Coca-Cola chocolate cake from, uh, a guy named Glenn on YouTube. Uh, he does kind of a historical cookbook sh show, and that's how I found him. Uh, and I took that recipe and I went, okay, but what if I did it with a LaCroix? Because I didn't have any soda in the house, and I wanted a cake for election day because I needed my sugary treat after I, uh, availed myself of the, uh, the political leanings of the day, which I do my best to avoid until the exact second that I need to be paying attention to them, just because I like being a person with thoughts and feelings in a soul, instead of Oh god, everything's on fire constantly. Uh, and I, I do not mean that, like, degradingly to- <gasps> Hi! To people who involve themselves in politics more directly. I just don't have that kind of energy in my life. Can I talk to you? I'm catching fireflies for mommy! Oh, I'll leave you to it then. Um, I just don't have that kind of energy in my life. I am not a very- I do not have the time or energy to put into observing in its fullness the terror that uh, life can have for me. I'm more enthused about the good things in the world, and so that means that I don't pay attention to politics until I absolutely have to. And when I absolutely have to is when I'm walking to the voting booth, or when something's very on fire. Uh, so I was like, I need some sugar to offset this, you know, as one does. And lo and behold, there is an, a, there is a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a tradition of, uh, election day cake. And so I was like, I'll make an election day cake. Uh-huh. And I, and I found this recipe and went, well, I don't have any soda, but I do have these, uh, cherry blossom uh, LaCroix, which were, like, a limited flavor for spring. I don't know how often they're around, but they're good. They taste like kind of cheap cherry chocolate. You know how you get those, like, uh, what are they called? It's like a specific brand of chocolate-covered cherry that kind of shows up in the Midwest especially. They're named after a football coach. I can't think of the name. Uh, but you know how it's very cheap? It's like a, it's a very cheap artificial cherry-flavored cherry, because the actual cherry is very good in the middle of them. It tastes like that. It tastes like a cheap cherry covered in cheap chocolate. Uh, and it's more cheap cherry than cheap chocolate. You know what else it tastes like? Is it, you know those uh, Tootsie Rolls? The Tootsie Rolls of non-chocolate flavor? If there was a cherry one of those is what it really tastes like. Uh, and it's very pleasant. And I went, you know what? This flavor will go well with vanilla. And so I borrowed this recipe from uh, Glenn and uh, modified it at a pinch, mostly just using baking powder instead of baking soda, just in case the uh, the carbonic acid in the, the LaCroix wasn't enough lift, but it seemed to have been enough lift uh, in addition to the baking powder. You know, it was a very light, very fluffy cake, so I think you could get away with doing it in baking soda, but it was otherwise very simple, you know. Uh, I think... 
it was made much simpler by the fact that I was using a kitchen scale. I I never make without a kitchen scale. Maybe it's just because I do bread, but I just can't do baking without a kitchen scale. It's just not as intuitive to me. Anyway, that's cake in a nutshell. I made way too much frosting, but it was very tasty, and I'm gladdened by the fact that throwing together a scratch cake is that simple. Interact with little red things. It's full of fish heads. Oh. Filled with salt. Or filled with small dried fish like little anchovies? Question mark? Who's eating my zoots right now? Nobody important. It's an email. Yeah, it's just somebody being like, Bird! Are you a real person? I'm like, yeah, I'm a real person. Uh <laughs> <coughs> But anyway, hey. It was really good. Oh, but, but then why is why is this one full of fish heads, but this one filled with small dried fish? Fisher, you're fishing. Mm. It's biting. Oh, that's rough. A few, a, a few. I almost said it wrong again. A few small fish are at the bottom of this jar. Magnets, you know how curtains work, sir. You know how curtains work. You don't need to be this way. You don't need to attack the curtains. You just put your little paw in and stick your head in there. You've done it before. But yeah, I, uh, the, you know, LaCroix already has a very subtle flavor on its own. So uh, putting it into the cake, I wasn't expecting it to taste, you know, violently cherry. Uh, you could just barely pick out the cherry flavor under the vanilla. If I were to do it again, I think what I would do is I would put vanilla in the frosting as I did, but not vanilla in the cake. Or much less vanilla, because vanilla, like, it's a very thin line with vanilla. Vanilla can either be the only flavor you taste in something, or the perfect way to amp up other flavors. And I am a little too judicious with my uh, my vanilla pores for it to be, for you, for you to taste much other than the vanilla usually in baked goods like that. So, you know. And I may do it again. Uh, I may actually just put vanilla frosting on it. I might make a full-size cake because it, I made... Where's that cake pan? I'm not gonna get up and get it, but I made a six-inch cake pan because I didn't know if it was a good recipe and I needed to be able to use my six-inch cake pan uh, because when I'm not near an oven and I want cake, six in the six inch cake pan will be the only thing that fits in my tabletop oven. So, anyway, that's cake in a nutshell. It was good. I'll do it again. Uh, they like their small dried fish around here. Hi, what are you doing? There was a time when our people used to live in these ruins, but due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land's gotten brittle. The, the Glen used to be in, in, in one piece, you know? But now it's just a bunch of islands, and it gets smaller and smaller. Oh. That's sad. I'm sorry. Oh, an empty jar. A jar of worms. Ooh. It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. Oh. That's just a sink. Warm coals. It's a fish stew. Ooh. You know, it's soup season. It's stew season. Uh, I have all the stuff I need for, well, I have 90% of the stuff I need for ramen in the fridge and freezer. I need to get some nice ramen noodles uh, because I want to make my family really nice ramen to show them that, yes, ramen is more than the 99 cent packs that you buy at the grocery store talking right here because I'm so used to the camera being right here. But, I don't know. I got a lot of food talk today. Is this just an empty space? Yes. Okay. Uh, I got a lot of food talk today. You keep catching those fireflies, little one. Um, oh, did we, did we miss a clean, sir? Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely be doing that cake again. I have a few of those, uh, those cherry blossom LaCroix. 
and so I'm very eager to make like a nice full-size cake. I don't know if we have a full-size cake with him anymore. Who knows? It might be a square cake. But you know, square cake, square cake. You know. Uh, can I go down this? Oh, I can go down this bridge. Okay, let's down the bridge. Hey, look. Does that say A I U L A or Alula? I'm gonna say Alula. Alula? Alula, where'd you go? Glacier, did you hear that? Yeah, I, I did. What did they say? Alula! I think it's coming from southeast of here? I think we need to go southeast. Ooh, these trees do not look particularly. Oh, hi. Hello, are you who we're looking for? Hey, you there! Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you, and, uh... Wait, that... That's the sun! Are you our savior? I, um... Yes? Oh, the stars. Sorry for my rudeness. Uh-huh, what? It's all right. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. Uh-oh. I'm looking all over, but... What would she look like? Um, shorter than you, long blue hair, two blue feathers on the top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed toward the forest, so I've been waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. Okay. I'm gonna go look for her then. Good luck, sir. Is this the room? Oh, uh, well, it's a bridge. Let's see where it goes. Oh, are we having trouble finding a place to step on the way down? Oh, where are we? Um, oh, well, these look ruin-like. The doorway's full of vines. The doorway's full of vines! Okay, sorry, I didn't see them. Guardian? The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Can enter their refuge through this wall. You need to sign your name in the scroll first. All right. Pen. No, I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. You're telling me you need people to sign in. And you don't have a pen. That's incredibly rude, sir. Oh, oh, robo, 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 Hello. Hi. I would like to talk. Hello, person. Please do note the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Thank you. Uh, so don't live here, but we can walk around. Thanks. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Partially flooded. That's not a water feature. That's the water featuring itself. Cluster of vines are blocking the way. Oh. No, I I just wanted you to find out what those were. I was asking you to walk through there. Door. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna be excited about any indicated doors on the screen because I have had a bad habit of missing doors. Computer here. Oh, hello again. Hi. It seems I need to help you again. Uh, I guess? I don't really know what's happening. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. Yeah, I mean, Unless I go cheating and looking up the answers, you know? This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. You're kidding me! You're putting a phone- You're putting a file on my desktop? That's incredibly rude of you, sir. Uh, do I see it? Do I see it? I'm not showing you guys my desk. I'm sorry. Uh, do I see it? Oh my god, you changed my desktop background? It changed my desktop background! What? You've got to be kidding me! Well, now I have to show you guys my desktop. Let me put all my icons in a folder. 
What the heck? I, I, I understand how you did that, but that's very... Mm. Okay, hang on a second. I need a new folder on my desktop so you guys can't see all my icons. So I have some icons on here that are spoilers for things I'm doing later. Icons. I'm just gonna select everything with the folder icons, and then I'm gonna put them in the folder for icons, and I'll get them back out after stream. Oh, it's thinking. Did it copy them all in there? Hi. It, it copied all of them. It copied all of them. Fun. Hi, Max. Concerned. I am concerned. It reached down into my desktop and was like, Hi, what's good? I changed your desktop for you. I'm like, no, you didn't. Let me just remove all those so you can't see them. Uh, send to... Uh, can I just... Can I hide all my icons, please? Is that is that a thing I can do on Windows anymore? Uh, oh god, if I hit open right now, my computer would explode. What do you mean I can't send these? Yeah, delete these. No more of those. Uh, all of my icons are in the in the folder that says icons now, so I can show you my... Show you... I'm not kidding. This is my... Hang on, let me just add a screen capture really quick. Uh... Have a screen capture? I don't have a screen capture, so let me just add one of those. Uh, screen capture. Display capture. Okay. Uh, ignore those. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's the. It's my desktop. They made it my desktop, and now you never get to see my display again. Uh. I mean, should I just, like, resize this so you guys can see my desktop again? I... Oh... This is... I... Like, it was wild enough when it did something outside of its own source form. I'm so used to, like, games that do this not playing with your computer at large. This is wild. Oh, this is so cool. I love this video game. Please be careful poking around in my computer. Yes, I do see it. You'll know what to do with it then. I don't, though. Uh, is that just permanently my desktop? Am I gonna have to manually change my desktop away from this? Hang on a second. Let me put my icons back. But I'm not kidding. There are, there are a bunch of uh, icons on my screen here that are like games I want to play and I just want to play. So <laughs> sorry, um every time this game could do this all night and I'm still gonna lose my mind at it. This is wild. This is absolutely crazy. How did they release this game on any consoles? Have they released this game on any consoles? What did they do? Hi man. Did you know you're in the way? I can't even... I can't even fathom how much of a pain it was to write some of this. Like, I've never tried to change someone's desktop with a computer program, but like, you'd have to be writing in like Windows script. Oh, uh, what this? Okay. Uh, you have to be writing in Windows, like a Windows scripting language. There's no way you could change that with, like, Java or something. Oh, wait a minute, you're talkable. These vines appeared here minutes ago. Mere minutes ago. Really? I haven't seen a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is in need of help, but I cannot trace the source. Oh. Magnus, buddy, I love having you right there. I need to be able to type things, and I know you're going to get mad if my hand 
is in your space for too long. Yeah. See what I mean? You're looking at my arm like... Mm. Also, I hope me losing my mind about this is not peaking the mic too bad, because I'm like... Ah! <laughs> this is just so wild. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Maybe we can find them and find where to... I can't walk over this... I can't walk over this pebble. No! Um... Find the children and find out what to do with that flower that they took outside. I am now outside. Where are we? Okay. There's a little, there's a little area to the left there. There's no areas to the right. I guess we're going to the left. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There were several rooms we didn't look at in here. I mean, this, there was a whole direction we didn't look at. Clean, clean, clean set of magnets. Because didn't we not go this direction? Yeah, we didn't go past these vines. Well, it seems like there wasn't a lot there. Okay, and we came from this direction, so we don't need to go it. Okay. Hand not clean. Is my hand not clean enough for you? Oh, little man. Little does he know he's on the camera right now. He's so he's used to knowing that the camera is right there. And he's like, what are you talking to, Dad? Where's the camera? Where's Screen Lady? I wanted to, that thing I just did with my arm is why I wanted to. Oh, we do. Oh, this person is trying to put it in the Yeah, that uh, that reaction I just had. That's why I wanted to play this with the controller because it's easier on my hands. And I had to, I had to hand the crank a a mixer today because the mixer the electric mixer ran out of batteries and I don't know where the cable cord is anyway oh miss are you alright no we should get to the village maybe they could it's okay it's okay Standing here as long as you need. Oh! Hi, I will lend you the sun. What should I do? Give her the sun! Give her the sun! We can stand here. Give her the sun! Here! Leave the sun here for you for a little while. Can I still? I don't want to pick it up. I want to talk to you. Can I still talk to you? I do not want to pick up the sun by accident. 
I can't talk to you. Are you... Have you passed on? Hi, are you okay? I'm not afraid anymore. Thank you. Oh. I'm... I'm going to leave this little plant, its little sun, for a little while. Unless it, I, I will struggle to navigate the game without light for a bit. If it means giving this little plant more time with the sun. See there? There's light. It's fine. Everything's fine. The sun will come back to it. The sun will be there when we come back. We just wanted to give the, the little dryad some some life. The sun will definitely be there when I come back, and it definitely will not have gotten stolen. Oh, what are you? Hi, you're small. Are you a little animal? Can I talk to you? You're a little sheep. Hello. Well, that was a. Oh no, that's a sheep noise. Okay. Hiya. You here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer or I'll offer you something in return. Um, do we have something like that? Do we have something like that? What do we have in our inventory right now? Uh, the strange journal, I guess. I don't want to give away the amber. It's too precious. What are we having a what well, yeah, let's see what happens. Wait, trade this? Do you wanna find out what it says? Uh I mean yes. What's that? It's a book? You know, I'm not sure I can take books. I can't read. Oh, okay. Well I'm not trading away that amber. I'm keeping it. It's important to silver and I don't wanna lose it. Ding! Oh, We already had this discussion, it's okay, Nico. Okay, um... Well, now what? Oh! New... Ooh, sheepies! Look at all these sheepies. What's with the big blue glow? What's good? Would you like to help me herd my ramps? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, sure. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them into the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell, and they all return to their original position. That's what the shop bell's for. Good luck. Okay, puzzle. Sheep puzzle. Zoo. Oh, there's also a bell there. Okay. So we need to move them all onto the dark box. So you go, you go. And then... Oh, no. Uh... Huh. You keep going. That way. Oh, uh, I hacked up. I have, I have unsolved the problem. Ding! Everybody, return to your spots. So you go there. You go there. This one I can move. Oh no! I needed to wait. 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 Never mind. Oh no, rescinded. I might be able to fix this. Why is my phone so full of zzz when I'm busy? Okay, you go there, and then you cannot move up, and there are things in the way. So I need to move you, and then I need to move you. There's a way to get back, though. I don't know that I can get around. Oh, heck. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's think here. So we get, so we move this one one farther and 
we don't close that one down in the bottom. This guy. We don't close this guy. We stop this guy somewhere in here. Right? And then we move that guy there so we can do that. And then we move this guy down. Like so. And then... And then because this one isn't ow, dude, stop stabbing me. Um, because this one isn't here, then we can go to around that corner and move this guy back. But we might not want to move this guy back quite yet because we want to move this guy over. Can we move this guy one more and then still get to him from there? I don't know. So I think we can do that, and then do this, and then do this, and then still, because this one's open, we can go around him, and then push those two back. Oh, uh, yeah, we can push those two back, maybe. Oh, thank you for cleans. Thank you for cleans. Okay, I think I have it. So we first do this thusly. This thusly is also a uh, great NPC game. Uh, and then we go there. And then let's see if we can push this guy all the way back immediately. That might come back to bite me. We'll see. And then this guy down. Oh no. Oh no, I should have gotten that guy on the far right first. Thank you for the cleans, Magnus. Are you sure I need them? He's licking my hand right now. I don't know if you, if you all can see. In fact, I don't know that you should be licking my hand right now, man. It's full of sugar and things that you shouldn't be eating. Uh... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, that that solves it if we can get... No, we can't. We have to start over because we didn't bring the first guy on the right down initially. Okay, now we can do it. Go like this, and then like this, and then like this. Wait, 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 wait. We move that guy there so we can still get around. And we go like this. And then we put this guy to over. And then we put that guy one more over. Wait, so we could go around and put this guy in place without having to solve without having to solve any weird problems. So we can put this guy all the way over here. So that solves that. Can we get out of here after that? Maybe not. Good, we didn't have to walk out. You provided a great service for all of Ramkind. In return, take this fine Ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. Okay, uh, to me, that seems like it's a good trade. Good, maybe. Oh, there's little bells around here. Oh, there's another one. Hello? Hello? Who are you? The crops have been growing poorly without the sun. Oh, no! But there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Oh, no! Please, Savior, you have to hurry. Hi. I'll do my best. Oh no. Oh no. How long? Is there like any like limiter on how long I can leave the the little dryad the sun? Furthermore, can I go into these buildings? No. There's peas in there. Peas. You know, the big thing about peas is they're really, really good fresh. 
but like the second you pick them there is immediately a timer a jar full of small rocks okay and if you really need small rocks buddy what have we knocked over oh it's the tea uh, it's the tea sensor it's the little you know, a little reusable tea bag type, type of thing. Tea steeper. That's the word I was looking for. You gotta leave that one alone, sir. Sorry, I keep trying to keep an eye on chat with my phone, and my phone goes to sleep because it's very mean to me. So every time you see me opening my phone, that's a lot of pain. I'll set it over there so it maybe doesn't go to sleep. Okay, there was a dude up here. Hi, can I talk to you? Wow! Wow! Your eyes glow in the dark! Yeah! And just like the sun! Uh-huh. Oh, there's a person. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. It's true. I'm tower. Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time and give sunlight to all the world. I see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time, huh? Spin! Wait, 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 what's in that jar? What's in the jar? What's in the jar? We gotta know what's in the jar, what's in the jar? Well, the drag beans. Sir? Are you aware I need this section of my lap to type on the keyboard? You should play on controller, but that'd tell you problem. Yeah, well, I should. I wish I could. You're right. Most of the green moss covering up our village has already lost its glow. Oh no! If it wasn't for the thin strip on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water become indistinguishable here. Oof. Very lucky to have that green moss that I'm definitely not intentionally walking way too close to. Hey, who are you? Not ready yet, but would you like some stew? Some stew? Some stew! I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. Oh. Not gonna lie, it's making me a little uncomfortable that they're calling Nico the savior. It's like, ooh, you're the the chosen one but like specifically like calling them the savior is like i'm like uh please please say chosen one instead there's nobody in here thank you magnus hey hi yeah okay uh can please talk to everyone around here the land is fragmenting at an alarming rate I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses the intruding sea. Oh, well, I have to find another place to settle. That sounds horrifying. I do not envy you your task. Uh, okay. Let's go talk to the trade goods guy. Because we have our... I have our... It's weird. Uh, let's go talk to the trade goods guy. Hey, trade goods guy. Uh, we have wool now. It's kind of useless. It, perfect. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You like wool, right? What can this get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is, actually. Is some sort of fabric, Dad? Uh, will we need fabric dye? Oh, the fact that this is leaving it up to me is making me nervous. Take it. I'll do it. Yeah, bless you doing business. Okay, what do I do with the fabric dye? Small vial filled with dark blue liquid used for dyeing wool. Okay. What else is there in this, this little world of his? What's in here? Is this the place we came from? This is probably the place we came from. I think this is the place that we came from. Yeah, with the vines. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, we have some dye. I don't know where to use it. I also don't protect. I don't want to take the little sun from the little dryad. I'm sorry. It just wants to feel the sun. Oh, you're fishing. Hello. Blood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. It's true. Or they've got somewhere to stand, I guess. Kinda... Kinda grim to think about. <laughs> Ding! A pair of shoes and some jewelry. Some kind of cloak or shawl? It's folded neatly. It's a staff. Reminds me of that uh, the one that the robot from the Barons was holding. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. Oh, can we can we take the can we take the amber orb and give silver back her necklace? This looks like an altar. Use die on altar. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll figure out something to do with the dye. I don't, I don't want to go take the sun from the dryad, but it's beginning to look like that's our only option right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess. We let them have it as long as we could. I'm gonna be doing that with doors all night. I hope no. Oh, my wrist. My wrist is so angry with me. That's what I get for making icing by hand. Hand with, with self powered tools. Oh. I don't wanna take the stun from the poor dryad, but I have to. I, I I do. There's nowhere else to go. Unless I want to sit here and struggle. I'm sorry. I have to take it back. I hope you liked it. It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. Oh, so I don't have to take it. Are you okay? Oh, no. What do we do? Okay. So we have some dye and we have a little girl we're looking for. A guy's sister. Hmm. What else is there to do? I mean, did we check all the buildings in town? Are we missing a door? Oh, well, we can't go this way. children reside near here. We saw one child who was spinning and pretending to be the tower, but did we see the other child? That I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So, do we need to die one of the sheep? Yes, thank you. What if we die the sheep? Nope, we cannot die the sheep. Well, I'll leave it equipped in case we need it. Um, are we sure we looked at every building in town? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's a person. That's a person down there. We didn't talk to this one. The light from these lanterns will have to do now. We see some very small sprouts. It'll take some time for these to bear fruit. Oh no! I would bring you my son to make the sprouts go faster. If I could. I don't think you could grow a plant by lantern light. It just doesn't have the constituent light bits that one would need, huh? I feel like I can get down there, but no. 
Okay, let's go door by door here. So have we gone... Wait, we talk to this person. Hi. Oh yeah, we talked to Alarming Rake Guy. Did we go in this door? This door has person. Hello. It's only being chipped away already. And it's still trying to stay alive, I think. It doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up the fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. And that won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. We've been there, we've been there, we've been here. But then, no, we haven't. Look at all these jars. This is it, the last of our brains that are closest. Oh no. Magnet? Magnet, sweetie, I need you to not hit the keys. You see this little map? Yeah, but also let you pay. And now we're dealing with a vermin problem? No! Excuse me, sir. I need you to leave the keyboard alone? Perhaps? You can sit there. Just don't type things. Maybe you can get cats? Ah, I'm a cat, I mean. Buddy, I need you to not press those keys, okay? I know you want to help. He wants to help so bad. Look at him. Okay, so we can't get in that door. So the next one is this one. Which I think we talked to this person. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to talk to this person. Last week, I saw some more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close to the... Squares? Squares, man, they're bad news. Okay. I agree with you. Squares can be, in fact, bad news. Okay, we've already talked to that one. Did we talk to this person? Wow! We talked to Wow. I <laughs> think it's funny. I guess you're gonna break something if you keep typing those. I wanna type. I know. You miss typing, don't you? You wanna hit this? You wanna hit the space bar? It's the one you can hit. It's this one. Wait, no. No, now that I can, it's no fun. Okay, we've been there. We've been there. Ooh, uh, and that's, that's Tower Girl. No, no, you can't hit the Windows key, buddy. He's gonna hit uh, he's gonna hit a button and the stream's gonna end and I'm gonna be like, no! <laughs> okay, and then and then and then this one. This one is the person who was like, you want some stew? Yeah, don't be afraid to ask if you want some stew. Huh? I want to not accidentally walk into your house, really. Okay, we talked to all the houses, all the people in the houses. Have we gone down here? Oop, we have not gone down here. Oh, oh, that just leads back here. Buddy, buddy, I'm gonna need you to not type things. I love you so much, Kitty. You cannot type things. Um, huh. Okay, well now we've walked in a big circle. Oh, hi. You're still catching fireflies for your mom. I can't go this way. Um, I think we are once again in a spot where I'm like, uh, where do I go? Okay, and here's the forest. With that guy's sister. Hi, who are you? This is the best fishing spot I've found yet. All the fish I catch here are longer than my arm. Those are big fish. Okay. And then we talk to this dude. He wants to see his sister again. Are you from the village? No. I don't remember why, but our father left the village when we were still young. We've lived in the ruins ever since. It's just the Lula and I now. We can't lose her too. <laughs> no, not a Lula. And we went left for earlier, so what if we go- oh, yeah, we haven't been here. The bridge. I was about to be like, where do we go? What do we do? Ah, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck now that there's a bridge here. 
I am uh, dealing with a very insistent cat. Buddy, you gotta remember how letters work before you type. Okay. Uh, ongoing. What? I need to clarify. Ongoing bit is that my cat Magnus is an isekai cat. He got isekai into my life. He used to be a little man. Because his brain's too big for his own good. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello! Did Dr. Silverpoint send you? No, I'm with Glacier. Uh, carry on then. I think Dr. Silverpoint did send us, but, you know. Hi, can I talk to you? Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello! Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No. Ah, uh, carry on then. I think we were, Nico. I think we were. People. Robot people? How come you're red instead of green? Well, more we'll purple than red anyway. The shrines and stuff are red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. I see. Will you enjoy those little moss samples then? Do you want to talk to this person? You almost had it. Do you want to talk to this person? Oh, I thought I'd ask you doing some fun. I am in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. I mean, that is pretty cool, actually. Moss samples tell you a lot of things about moss. Hi, can I talk to you? Phosphor trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not? Yeah, I didn't plan on it. They're too pretty. Look at them. They have little glowing dots and everything. Hi. Phosphor tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. Well, yeah, there's no sun. So, you know, that'll happen. Uh, okay. Hi. Hello. What are you looking at, little guy? Monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly. Well, yeah, but... Fine. Uh, okay, so small building first. Loot. Beep, boop, water collection project resuming. Hello, living person. Uh, yeah, hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um, my programming says that organic beings need water to survive. So I shall offer it to you. Oh, uh, sure, we'll take it. Water! Water and water and water, water. Sorry, uh, that robot here reminded me that I need water to live. And, uh, so do you, car fellow carbon based life form. It's full of little glass tubes of water. Water samples. Oh, thank you. Uh, but a fellow carbon-based life form such as myself do require water. Please drink it. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Ooh. I agree. The Glacier and I actually fixed one of these earlier in that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right, you guys already have power and all. Can I approach the generator? Touch generator? A generator! This one's got a working battery. Okay, thank you. Ow! What? Oh, buddy, I didn't mean to get you shocked. Poor thing. Sorry, Nico. I have a compulsive need to investigate things. Okay, so now we have some water and some dye. I don't know what to do with the water and dye, though. Hmm, maybe we could pour the dye on the anomaly. Maybe we could mix the dye into the water and pour it on the anomaly. Maybe? 
let's mix the dye in the water first. Oh, we cannot combine the uh, water and the dye. Okay. Can we, can we even reach the anomaly? No, they're in the way. Okay, um, wait. We could give water to the little dryad lady, and she might be feeling even better. -er. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's go say hi. I mean, I assume they're a dryad. They're a little plant lady. You know. They could be something else entirely. They could be a plant-based life form instead of, you know, a dryad. Who knows? Not me. We're gonna go give her some water anyway. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta, just, just gotta make it into the bridge. Wait, the pen! Uh, we have ink now! Hi. Uh, hey, hi. Have you found something to write with? I think so. Nope, not the strange journal. The bottle will die. Yeah, I, I have a bottle of dye. Oh, I need something to dip in the bottle of dye. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Was there another set of vines we didn't investigate? Or, like, we saw the vines and we're like, ooh, vines! And I, like, pressed space to investigate them and they just didn't do anything other than have Nico go, those are vines! Ouch! There was like a doorway full of vines that I accidentally walked into somewhere. I think I might have walked past it. I think it was back up here. Huh. I still don't... <gasps> Wait! Now we can use the thing that's on my desktop! Does anybody remember what it was? I think it was like a little flower looking thing. That's too many. And then, oh, that turns them off. Okay, so we need to, oops. I have messed this up. One, two, three. Oh, 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 I've just done it too big. Okay, uh. I think this is this is the thing that was on my desktop. Though. Oops. Okay, how high do these go? There. Okay. So let's turn as many of these off as we can. Okay, that's the bottom. So let me minimize OBS real quick. So it needs to be one, and then one, two, three. So one. I turn that off. One. Then this one, and then that one, and then this one. And then, bump, bump. And then we need to turn this one off. And then this one will come back to and turn off. One, two, three. And then. Corner, and then one, two, three. And then we need to turn this one off and these two off. Da ding I did something. Oh, person! You saved me! Oh, it changed my desktop back. Ooh! Thank you. I was trapped in here for so long! So are you a Lula? The Messiah does really know everything. Don't oh, call me a Messiah, please. I'm just a little guy. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. You're right. Gosh, all of us must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? I mean, yeah. Come on. Let's go. You and me. Wait a minute. How did you know that I was the uh, Messiah? I didn't have the sun with me. Your eyes! Huh? They remind me of the sun. Oh. That's why you're a messiah, right? Well, I... 
a lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun's in the sky and not in a tower. You like this world, too? I... Yeah. Yay! Calum just keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay. You're here now. You've made everything better. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Just follow me. I want to check out this room real quick. Okay, there's nothing there. And nothing there. And nothing there. For a second there, I was like, no. It just removed my my background? No. It, it put it back. Okay. So now that we have little bird child, we can go say hi to her brother and be like, Hey, yo, I found your sister. She was trapped behind a weird puzzle that the, the guy behind the fourth wall had to find the answer to. This game is wild, man. Where is... Okay, so... We saw Calamus in here, right? That there was a big green blob. Yeah, hey Calamus, we found your sister. Calamus! Bula, you're okay. Thank goodness. Yeah, you're welcome. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There's like this weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes. Stuff you told me to stay away from. What? It's spread to the ruins now. This is good. Oh, don't worry. I didn't touch it. It might hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. But anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world's decaying, that's what they mean. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister. Just call me Nico. No gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? Well, huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Oh, then, uh, you want to visit our house, Nico? Yeah! Yay! Let's go! Yeah, let's go say hi. Dee 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 dee. Oh shoot. Looks like we can't get past that block. Uh, seriously? <laughs> I'll be up ahead. Oh. I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Dude, come on, our house isn't far from here. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but... Feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. Uh, what are you looking for there, Alula? Here, we want you to have this. What? <gasps> Feather! Ooh! <laughs> Nico is like, ooh, Feather! And I'm like, ooh, Feather! That's so pretty. Look at that. Look at the, look at that. Look at the design on that CG. So pretty. Oh, a feather! The edges are gleaming yellow. It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh? Yeah! She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see in the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to Father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Uh, are you sure? Totally sure. Totally sure. Oh, I think that's what Father would want. Thank you. <laughs> Not only have you made it so I can progress, I now can also snoop through your home. <laughs> Nico doesn't have anything to say about these people's home. Probably. I would assume. Oh, yeah. Pretty normal stuff. Excuse me, Alula, I have to go sign into that building. Oh! Hey! What 
Yeah, what's up? I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Sick. Okay, you guys are just gonna follow me? I mean, I'm okay with that, but... It's ball! It's mine! Just mouse around as much as you used to, though. Sky is making noises of me very distant. Can't go this way. Oh, camera pan over. Another place I can't go. Looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the, yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way of getting there now. Do you, do you, don't you remember? We're in a boat. None of us can swim, so. What's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Oh. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Oh, well, I grave anyway. Oh, oh. Well, how do you, wait, how do you get there? But you said there isn't a boat. Oh, well, our friend helps us. He's the same. He's some sort of machine that lets him fly. Sometimes he takes us along. Oh, I was, but like I was about to say, have you even seen him around for a while? I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could go see mom again. Oh. Go help them see their mom! Come on, Alula, let's go back to the courtyard. Okay! I wanna go help them see their mom! No! The world is falling apart! These poor people are just trying to live in it. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna go talk to the guy who signed me in the building. Everybody stay safe out here. Uh, the gate is probably what we're looking for. Maybe? Yes. Hey, guy. Uh, I found a quill and some ink. Oh, yeah, I can use the feather as a pen. I signed a picture book once. Yeah, feather pen! Hi. I found a pen! Sort of. Indeed you do. But are you not forgetting something? Um... Well, the sun! Oh no, now we have to go take the sun! We have to go take the sun from the Dryad Lady, I'm sorry! I don't want to do it, but the story says I have to. No. She was just enjoying feeling warm. How could you do this to me, big robot man? Like, I know I'm playing it up for the camera, but like, I am genuinely emotional about this. This poor dryad, like... This poor plant lady is just like, please, I have not felt the sun in so long. Please help me. And I'm like, oh! Okay, is it down here? Oh yeah, it's down here, because then we go this way. I love Nico's little teeny. <laughs> Oh no, I don't want to take the sun. I don't want to take the sun away from her. No. I don't want to do Whoa, Why is the sun this way? The light's gone out. Um, Glacier? Do you know what happened? No! I don't! You... really? But, but... Oh. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh. It, it lit up again? Phew. Is that a little seed? Please tell me that's a little seed. She's gone. Oh, there's something on the ground here. It's like a kernel of corn. She must have left it behind. Oh, oh, we're just picking up this seed? Wait. Wait, can we go plant... Can we go plant the plant lady in town now? One thing at a time, one thing at a time. Let's use the quill pen first. 
Wait, no, we have fast travel. No, oh, I can't fast travel right now. I was like, wait, we have fast travel. And the game was like, no, you don't. And I was like, I don't have fast travel right now. Thank you. Wait, how can I fast travel? I cannot fast travel. No, I didn't want to... Didn't want to interact with my settings. Okay, once we get out of this building, I think we can go fast travel to the town. Plant the lady. Oh, wait, we were out of the building. Okay, so let's go fast travel to the village. And then we can go to... Nope. That's not it. We need to go to the little planting area that has lanterns. Which is... Somewhere here. Maybe. Maybe it is down the bridge. Maybe it's just down here. Where is it? Oh. That's the puzzle. Let's go down the bridge. Because I feel like we have that little container of water. And we have, you know, the little plant lady seeds. So why don't we plant her before we go through the gate, you know? That's not right either. Where do we need to go? First, the research station, the ruins. Let's just go to the gate. We'll just we'll just hold on to the little plant lady seed and the water in case we need it. I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. It looks like it might be a good place to take a rest. Okay, Nico. That would be a great place for me to leave off, actually. Yeah, it's about that time. Uh, a room to the west. Where is this room, Nico? I wish to let you nappy nap. Nico's like, I'm tired. I think we should take that as a good opportunity to, like, you know, call it for the night so I'm not just, like, ending the game. Where, where is this mysterious room, Nico? You said you were sleepy. You said it was somewhere to the west. I guess it might be up the bridge. Yeah, you, uh, your main character just sometimes gets sleepy. I'm like, oh, yes. Is this where I'm sleep? It's a bed. Oh, more like a mattress. Okay, this is clearly not where I'm supposed to sleep. You still live here? Well, sort of. Fish populations near the village are thinning, so we fisher folk are making temporary shelter here. Makes sense. The deeper ruins have been abandoned for a while, though. But I do see some kids coming in out of those. Live there? Oh. I assume that's the kids we just helped a little bit. Uh, where's the bed? Is the bed being starting area that we're just in, maybe? Where's Nico's little bed? Where Nico go bed? <laughs> I want to let him sleep so we can call it a night, because I think that's a really good, like, stopping point. The game's handing us a stopping point. I just need to find it. Okay. So maybe if it's not this building, then... Where is our little sleepy man to get his little sleepy times on? Ooh. Is this the village? Maybe we should just check the building. I do have a bed I can use. A bed! More like a mattress. What's that say? Coals. A few 
two things make me feel like I need better glasses than not being able to read the... Occasionally being unable to read the things on this screen. That's not it either. Where... Where are Nico Sleepy? Hmm. Who wants to sleep? Um... Where him go sleepy? Um... Maybe if we go to the ruins and go where those two live? Because they said they wanted to spend some time with them. Let's go to the courtyard for that. Oh, well, no, courtyard is a place. So, courtyard. Hi, can I sleep in your house? Bed, well, it's more like a mattress. Fireflies light up the room. Okay, not here. Jar's full of what? Beans. Oh, that one's full of worms, so they can go fishing. The plush toy! I have one at home, too. Mine's an owl, not a fox. Back room's full of dust and cobwebs. Yeah, I wouldn't go there, either. Almost. We're... Jars full of dried fish. Where can we sleep then? I don't know. Not in the courtyard. I mean, this is a thing that I could genuinely just ask the phone. I'm gonna, I swear not here all night. Um... Parents... In the Glen... We've been moved by a robot, we've met Calamus, we've brought Calamus his... They seem to have done these out of order, so I'm needing to pay attention. We trade. Oh no, we were supposed to deny the trader and get a shirt to go with our die. Oops, hope we don't need that. Reunite the siblings. Fast travel back to the research station. Get the tube of water. Bed inside. You can use the bed at the gate to stick. Get the gate to save. So there's a bed at the gate. So let's go to the gate. There's a bed in here. There's a bed in here. Okay. All right. I'm a little tired from walking. Yeah, I'd be tired from always walking too, buddy. Is that alright if I take a nap? Yeah, take a nap. Go ahead. Nappy nap. Alright. I'm gonna call it a night there. Uh, the game kind of handed me a leaving off point that was very convenient. And uh, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna run as far as I want with it. Uh more of this uh next tuesday probably i might be trying out you know what? i'm gonna solidify this i'm gonna try out tuesday nights for a couple weeks let's say okay i'm gonna try tuesday nights until i finish one shot let's say that and then uh if people don't like tuesdays uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, hmm. 
games. So if people don't like Tuesday, we'll try the next game on Thursday. So I it seems to me like one shot will have maybe two more streams in it. Uh, we'll see. That's a complete guess. But we'll we'll keep doing two uh, one shot on Tuesdays, and then we will give uh, Thursdays a shot. Uh, I can't do Wednesdays because I have a Monster of the Week game that evening uh, that I want to not you know dissolve into a little pile of fuzz as long running RPG games tend to. Uh, so we'll do one shot on Tuesday. We'll I'll pick another game out of the pile for Thursday. Uh, Friday's paper cuts, so we can't really do that. And we've already tried Monday, so whichever day feels like it works best for you all, we will settle on. Uh, I'll keep you posted. I might even think about doing like some Discord streams on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, just you know, stuff that's like, oh, I'm editing and I need someone to be over my shoulder so I actually do edit instead of have the editing bay open and just sit here and scroll for example, you know? Uh, but that's another thing entirely. Uh, this is a really fun game. This is a really cute game, and it's it's making me a little emotional, which I always really appreciate in games like this, especially when the game is, you know, reaching down into my computer and being like, I have changed your computer background. I'm like, mm. So it's great to have some emotions with that. Let's see who is streaming uh, real quick so we can drop a raid on them. But in case you're going to hop off here, you don't want to go on a raid, uh, I hope you all have a great week. Uh, see you Friday for more Paper Cuts. We'll be reading more of, uh, more of uh, The Princess of Mars, uh, better known better known as an as in its adapted form as John Carter of Mars. Uh, and like I said, uh, same bat time, same bat channel for more uh, one shot next week. Really do tune in to, uh, tune in to Princess of Mars. I've been having a good time with it. We're only one episode in and I'm having a great time with it. So definitely give it a look. Anyway.